Howdy, folks. Welcome to Railroads Online. We're going to be running some uh, lumber, some beams, and some logs. Just making money tonight for a little bit. Not going to be a super long stream, but I need to make some cash. Uh, this is my YouTube playthrough, but we're playing on Twitch tonight, live. Trying to make some funds. So I was just going to be running old Betsy back and forth. Making some cash. So we need two cars of lumber and four cars of beams. A couple of these loading here. Sorry, wife and kiddos just got home. Literally as soon as I start streaming. My wife says she wasn't bringing me pizza, so I went ahead and ate dinner and she brought me pizza. I'll see if I can eat that for lunch tomorrow. So these cars hold six lumber. And they hold three beams. Or three pieces of beams. So, two more on that one. Bonk. Right in the head. One more there. Pull ahead for the next car. Alright, reversers forward. I'm gonna go slow, because I'm playing on the realistic physics setting, and these cars are heavy. And we only have the locomotive brake. And as you can see, it's not super stout. Oh wait, no, I already got my uh, already got my two cars of lumber. I need to go back for the beams. Come on, Betsy. You can do it. There you go. Not too aggressive though. I got that totally mistimed. All right, well, let's keep heading back then. I was going to load the back cars first, but we'll load the front cars first. I try to get the timing right. There we go. Hey, Char Directed. I looked at him in the G menu, yeah. Nothing terribly exciting. I think they're actually working now, though. I think today's patch fixed it so you could actually use them. Right now, old Betsy's all we need. Paying too much attention to what these sell for. Should probably look that up. We're just selling everything. Sell it all. Alright, let's head forward a bit. Put these embankments down so I can help line up the cars a little better. So it gets harder the further away you are. See if that'll do, if it's going to be too far forward. Yeah, too far forward. It's so hard to judge. 
Uh, all the, the physics and stuff has changed like completely since I used to play. So I'm having to relearn everything. Everything's way heavier now and the brakes are way less effective. Uh, dude, how are we doing on beams? Oh, we got lots. Okay. I made a few trips to the logging camp, so we've got a pretty decent chunk of lumber and beams built up now. And I might just stream for like an hour or so. We'll see. I gotta get up at 6 and go get a root canal, so that's exciting. But I needed to uh, make some money so we can buy some stuff for the YouTube series. So I thought I might as well fire appeal Twitch stream. And find folks like you can hang out. And Dave. We'll let Dave hang out too. Yeah, see? This is the part where you go choo choo. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some firewood here for two. Okay. So we can get around here without derailing. I've had a few cases where the tracks derailing stuff. Let's see how that goes. So if you're here and you've been watching the YouTube series, you get a little sneak peek. I show the track changes in episode four, which will come out Tuesday. Things have changed a little bit. I think that's in the next episode. I kind of lose track. I record these sometimes like a week ahead of time, depending on when I have time to record. It's easy to lose track of what's when and where. So I think that might be... Is that in Thursdays? Maybe? I forget. It'll be next... It'll be this coming week sometime. Yeah, we'll open her up. I usually run about 40% across here. Anything more seems to just make it louder, not necessarily faster. Speaking of louder, let me know if the game's too loud. I haven't streamed this in a long time. some reason. It's like it's ray casting to his head. They can't see his head when it zooms in. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever game. We'll do it your way. the bell just because we can.
And so we probably need to be shutting that down. Getting on the brake soon. Oh shoot, that's not thrown for the depot. Ow! Give me the control! Woo! Now let me back on the train. Okay, yeah, yeah, it all worked perfectly as planned. That's why I usually drive from this menu, so you don't have to try to find the magic click spot on the brake. You can just put the brake on. I forgot when I left here, I came out of the yard because I bought two more cars. So it wasn't thrown for the depot. So I'm not sure six cars will even fit along here. No, it seems like I'm going super slow, but that's because the brakes are very ineffective. So if you don't go super slow, you end up stopping down here. You have to back up. And yeah, uh, I think we're gonna get five cars here, maybe. All right, we are stopped. How close are we? Let's go look. Yeah, I don't think that last car would sell, so we can do five of them. So we're at eleven eighty four. Start bonking ourselves on the head. There we are, back up to fifteen hundred. Very nice. All right, we need to pull ahead one car. So those are worth 24 a pop. Nice. I guess, in theory, we could just bring beams over here, because I think he changed the industries. So it will actually put out split products, even if one is full. I don't know for sure. Maybe we can test that. All right, we're backing up. Let's get on out of here. What is the goal today? That's the stream title, if you can see the stream title. We're hauling logs and lumber for profit. Basically, I need money uh, to get some stuff in the YouTube series, so I've been playing uh, between episodes. Just making money, running back and forth, getting logs, hauling lumber and beams. And I was gonna do that tonight for an hour or so, so I thought I'd just fire up the stream. out with you fine folks and uh, make some cash so we're literally just running trains tonight no must be on 40 come on come on oh the game hates me So we can haul 18 sets of beams, right? Yeah. Three, six cars. It's 18 times 24.
342, something like that. So if we just haul the beams, we can make a little over 300 bucks each, each uh, trip. How's the volume, by the way? Nobody said anything, so I assume the volumes are okay. Betsy is a noisy little beast. Oh crap, oh crap, no! <laughs> that was almost a disaster. All right, let's play, can you run faster than the train? No, nah, we'll, we'll go in the side. I was gonna go around the other direction. Go this way. I think I've got about ten percent handbrake on that last car, if I remember right. So we will need to keep some power on. When we're not loaded, it'll slow it down. Quite a bit. When we're loaded, it slows it down to infinitesimal amount. I kind of want to cut those trees down. Can I cut them down and hop back on the train? Don't hit the train. Don't hit the train. Like a boss. Uh-oh. No! Oh, crap. <laughs> this is very much an early access. And it's, it's a beta branch of that. Buckle up your seatbelts, kids. Start getting some brake on. Yeah, we can stop pretty decent with no loads. That's good to know. Top into this view, it's a little easier to control everything. I just like to blow the whistle. Some nice steam effects. That's the wrong thing. I was looking at the steam instead of the controls. I was trying to see if it was synchronized to the pistons. It kind of looks like it is. At least it's trying to be. I went back too far, didn't I? The perspective is all weird, so I'm going to blame it on that. That's not right. It should only chuff out when the valves are releasing. But, yeah, you can't have everything. Man, I am just not doing good driving the train tonight. Let me turn that off. That's distracting. All right, let's go see how that is. Are we lined up good enough? Nope, we need to come back about half a car. See, that's... That's why I put these embankments down to kind of help. It's really hard to tell if you're lined up. There we go. All right, we have 36 beams. Let's do it. Let's do a whole train of beams. Yeah, 
this one's on 10%. The rest are off. Hello? Can has click. This is where multiplayer would come in handy. Got somebody uh, driving the engine, somebody loading. I've heard multiplayer is pretty bad though. Really jittery and lots of issues. So we'll just ease on back. Something like that. What's up, Mr. Dave? I think that's lined up good enough. Let's find out. You enjoying some pulled pork? I saw your uh, picture there in the Discord. And I had the same problem with my pork blood. It, it was a big one. I forget how many pounds it was. Uh, but it took like 10 hours. 10 and a half hours, something like that. In the smoker. The TLDR on the Dead Matter video, um, everything we suspected. <laughs> it's it's really good though. If you're interested at all in what's actually happening there, it's it's worth the 30 minute watch. Kira TV does a really good job. He researches stuff. Oh shoot, we wasted the beam, didn't we? I know it stuck. It was sticking them on those cars. Okay. No, I did waste a beam. Shoot. It's supposed to go on there and it didn't. These couplers have a lot of slack too, so you gotta count for that. Yeah, so we wasted a beam. It went it disappeared into the ether. So apparently that's still a thing. If it can't load it somewhere, it just disappears, I believe. So if you're just tuning in, I've been doing a YouTube series on this game, and I needed to make some money. So I just need to run some trains back and forth making money, and uh, I thought I'd stream it here on Twitch. I've been thinking more and more about streaming over on YouTube instead of streaming on Twitch. So I don't have a split community all the time. I don't know, I've been streaming on Twitch for like 10 years. It's kind of it's like an old pair of sneakers. It's just comfortable. And I've always enjoyed making videos on YouTube, telling stories, and then the actual live stream is over here on Twitch. I don't know, might, might change that up at some point. I've been thinking. There's a lot of people uh, that watch the Railroads Online series that probably don't even know I stream on Twitch. They're not subbed, they've never looked at the About page. They just watch the videos and enjoy them, which is fine. I'm glad they do. Big Brick Gaming, what's up? All right, another load for the Freight Depot. Yeah, I bet multi-streaming is messy. 
I've I've never liked multi-streaming as a viewer. Because you're still splitting your community. So that's why I've not ever done that. I don't enjoy it as a viewer, so I don't want to put people through that. Laying some track, cool. Hopefully you're laying track on the new spline system, because it's a million times better in my opinion. Yeah, let's keep her down to about 30% until we get out on the main. I'm liking having a diamond crossing there, finally. If they were evolved, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, you're in the minority though. A lot of people that watch on YouTube don't even know I stream on Twitch. Something like 75% of people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, so it's just kind of the way people are. Hey, as long as you're watching, having a good time, don't matter to me. Yeah, Big Brick, I 100% agree. It's way better. That's why I was kind of waiting on that to get settled before I dove back in. I gave it quite a, quite a long break. I don't remember when I ended my last series. And there were no updates for quite some time, but recently it's been pumping them out for some reason. Maybe feeling the pressure with all the shenanigans going on. Crank this up to 40%. I never understood it through a vault, but I think a lot of people consume YouTube by just going to the homepage and just picking, like they watch whatever YouTube wants them to watch. Whereas I sub to channels that I want to see and then I use my subscriptions page, which YouTube usually puts way down at the bottom. Like, I want to watch what I want to watch, not what your algorithm thinks I want to watch. Although I do hit up the homepage occasionally, and I'll find stuff there that's interesting. But I primarily subscribe to the channels I want to see some content from, and then watch accordingly. But most people on YouTube are not subscribed to what they watch. Almost every content creator I've I've known and have done videos on it. Like anywhere from 60 to 80% of their audience is not subscribed. I looked at it in the G menu, Big Rick. I've not played with it at all. I think it was kind of rushed out. It was broken. I think today's patch might have fixed it. But no, I haven't, I haven't messed with it. Only thing I've been driving since I got back is the Porter. Good old Betsy. I think he did get the switches fixed so you can actually drive the Heisler now. It's one of the reasons I'm making money. I kind of want to get a geared loco. Run some really long trains. I think that'd be fun. throttle on just a bit, just so we get some vapor coming out like we should. Come on, girl. Ease her on forward. So those of you that play Railroads Online, uh, what physics do you play on? I've been kind of bouncing back and forth. I was on Realistic, and then in episode 
shoot, three or four. I switched to medium because I had problems. I couldn't actually get the train to move. Uh, but now I'm back on realistic because I think it was just a track bug. Because I relayed the track and now it's fine, so I don't know. I like how weighty everything feels in realistic. Uh, but when the train wouldn't move, that was a problem. Woohoo, almost up to two grand. Play on realistic, big brick. How have you been finding that? Does it seem to work okay? I've had a, a few issues, but... So far, so good ever since I re relayed that track. I think it was the end of episode three is where I was stuck. And then in episode four, I spent probably 15 minutes of the video trying to get the train moving, <laughs> doing, and then the trail, the uh, trailing cars derail and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I eventually got it sorted out. Yeah, 2048. Nice. Was into three. All right, cool. I've kind of lost track. I did a bunch of recording today, and now I can't remember where I was on release versus what I've done in game. Here we go. All right, let's hop back in this view. Oh, I should have dropped a save while I was stopped. It's been fun. For my YouTube, I'm playing this game and Conan Exiles. <laughs> completely different genres. I love it. Conan is a ton of fun. I'm having a blast with that game, too. I wish there was a grass cutter so the flowers didn't poke up through the track. It's one of the reasons I built this so tall, so the grass isn't all sticking up through here. Look at all that wasted heat. Yeah, it gets a little thick. I've done that before too, where you just can't see what the heck you're doing. But when I'm playing, I have everything cranked up as far as it'll go. It looks purdy. And I can still get like 80 to 100 FPS. So works for me. All right, we may go haul some logs just for something different. Made a couple trips to the depot. Let's go uh, get these backed in there and then we'll go grab the log cars and go get some logs. Yep, it is a beautiful game. It really needs some sound, ambient sound. It's got really good sounds like, you know, for the cars and the locos and the industries, but the world itself is just dead. We had just a little bit of wind some birdies chirping, some squirrels shattering, it would really uh, make the world feel alive, I think. Remember when it used to stop the train when you'd come out of that view? I'm so glad I got rid of that. All right, let's do this. We're going to take out that pin.
We ride the cars to victory. So I have to go back out and down that switch. I don't have to go any further than I have to. Yeah, it was annoying. I'm glad he changed that feature. All right, I'm going to put on the handbrake as we pass here. How's that looking? I need another handbrake? Yep, yeah, it's going to work out just fine. Now, I need to rem Actually, let me... Before I forget. Because I'll forget. You know me. Once this is stopped, I'll put that back on 10%. There we go. And also, save early, save often. There we go. I relayed track in here so many times. That's why there's not any trees. <laughs> this is like the 10th or 11th iteration of track around the sawmill. All right, now we got to run back out, come back down the main, run around these cars, look on, and actually, if I come back in that way, I'm going to be going the wrong direction, aren't I? I need a way to turn engines down here. How big is the turntable? Was it planning on... No, that's not what I want. I wasn't planning on doing any, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty good size, isn't it? What if that would snap to track? Nah, let's not, let's not get into that. Let's not get into track laying. Let's just make profit. I need to get back out to the lumber camp because that's where the wood is and uh, we're getting a little low on wood. Got two sticks left. Oh, is it flat out through the trees there? Interesting. I haven't uh, ever scouted out that way. Man, if I had a dollar for everybody that told me to turn the generator on when I started playing this game and had my first series. Uh, you had all these big YouTubers playing this that didn't know anything about trains. Like, yeah, you turn the generator on for more power. So many comments. You need to turn the generator and the compressor on to get more power. No, that's, that's not how trains work. This train doesn't even, or this locomotive doesn't even have a generator or a compressor. No, Mr. Big YouTuber said, so it's got to be true. <laughs> oh, we will be going the right direction. I don't know what I was thinking. We'll just run around the cars uh, and get in front. All right, brake on. Stop too quick. That's okay. I need to throw the switch too. There we go. The hitbox seems to change sometimes on this. It'd be a little difficult to uh, get it figured out. There we go. Do 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 do. Just like Chrome, yeah. Put a spoiler on the back, we'd be able to haul tin log cars.
The new auto switches are handy for a solo player, for sure. I'm liking that feature. So you watch the switch will automatically change. Good stuff. Here we go. All right. We already have a Lincoln pin in there, so we're good to go. Two on two percent. Wee. Forgot how well the brake does work when you're running light. Off, please. I think these should all be off. We'll double check. Yeah. And we'll put you on 10%. Yeah, every once in a while that automatically derails you. But not nearly as often. I've uh, I've had my loco pick a switch, just you know, running into it. it just derails. All right, out to the log camp we go. just one of those things. Stuff happens. Probably have to give her some more juice because we're heading into a 2% upgrade right now. headed back out in this direction instead of pushing the cars, but that's okay. We'll push the cars. Alright, I need enough power we can make it up over the hump. I didn't want to go super fast after we got over the hump. Probably the first thing I ought to do is go down and get some firewood. That would be the smart move. Spoiler alert, we build this in a future episode. So if you're watching this uh, series on YouTube, you get a little sneak peek. Yeah, that's my second uh, attempt at connecting to the log camp. The first one wasn't quite so nice. All right, so these all have a hundred. Kind of curious if we dropped a log off over there, if it would refill just the emptied one. Where do I need to throw that? Where are you going? 
Is it colliding with the car or something? Why well, you're not filling up the... There it goes. That was weird. It's like, I'll just disappear into the ether. Like so much stuff in this game. I'm really good at throwing firewood. Yeah, I can get it to land perfectly. I'm actually pretty good at throwing firewood because I grew up with wood heat, so I did a lot of wood splitting and wood throwing and wood stacking and everything wood related. Those of you who don't know, I've even ran a steam engine. Although it wasn't a locomotive, it was a a mobile what you even call it? It was an upright stationary that had been uh, put on an international truck frame so it could drive itself. It was a homemade affair. We had a big old wood saw in the front. We sawed wood with it. Good stuff. All right, we should have enough steam just to back up and load this with logs. Let's do that. Easy. Easy, Betsy. I haven't filled up the firewood depot yet, but I've got the track there that so hopefully we can. Although I see it's a little crooked. I didn't notice that when I was building it. <laughs> That's really crooked, in fact. Uh, we'll fix that. I'm sure that'll get a YouTube comment or two. All right. It looked okay from back there. It looks pretty terrible from here. Okay. Hey, come on back. There we go. That looks better. I know I said I wasn't going to do any track laying, but this is really bothering me. I can't believe how crooked I made that. Oh, do you get paid now to take wood there? Oh, I didn't even know that. Thanks for the tip. I don't think that was a thing when I used to play. But maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. We'll do a little bit of track laying, okay, chat? Not a lot. Uh, that was pretty uh, embarrassingly crooked. It looked like it was straight. I didn't look at it good enough. It's not going to line up because I didn't. Uh, I should have built it further away, but yeah, what we need is sharp switches. You know what I mean? All we have is like mainline switches. We don't have backwoods logging camp switches. Do 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 do. Come out to about yeah. That's my bumper, a pile of dirt. Oh, yeah, that's right. I used to take cordwood to them. Yeah, I forgot. But does it, I mean, it wouldn't take very many logs to fill this up, or does it just keep taking them? 
Yeah, let's let's take some logs down there and we'll see. I don't remember how many firewood it takes. Back up just a hair more. Just in case it decides to derail the train. Yeah, we'll take some wood down there. It takes 32 even if it doesn't need them. So it like keeps them in stock maybe. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess we'll go fill it up. That way I'll always have firewood here. So we can haul, what, 24 logs? Does each one of these hold, yeah, hold six, I think. You know what really bothers me? This gear wheel should spin way faster than this gear wheel, but they spin at the same rate. It really bugs me. I just, I try to ignore it. Yeah, I think it changed now. So it, before it would only refill like all four of those at once. I think he changed it so it'll refill each one if it needs refilled. Alright, that's those two filled up. Let's go, Betsy. It's just two cars. You got this. That looked lined up from back there. Let's go see what it looks like from over here. Yeah, it's not terrible. And I'll see if I'm actually able to unload into the firewood depot with that pretty bad track arrangement. I like it has an arrow now that shows you where it's going to drop. That's a nice touch. See how it handles this S curve. Put a little bit of a straight there. So it wasn't catastrophic, hopefully. Ooh, it's going to be close, isn't it? Stop! Whoa! Alright, 
Let's save. And... Oh, it says 0 out of 32 there. All right, cool. Oh, I think it's taking him. Yeah, one, two, three. There it goes. All right, cool. Took six of them. Forgot to look and see how much money I had. Yep, ten bucks. No, it's not okay, it's not refilling these. He said I thought he said in the patch notes he'd fix that at industries, but maybe this doesn't count as an industry. So since these are full, it's not gonna process any firewood to fill these these two up. Alright, whatever. Still got plenty of track out there. So this is close enough, it looks like. Excellent. All right, well, there's 24 logs in there. Your bell. See if I can get lined up from uh, this perspective. It's almost impossible to tell where the car is. I can't tell by the shadow. We come back uh, a little over half a car length. Should work, I think. Could even come back a little further. I think it's going to fall into the category of close enough. Yep, close enough. I can't decide on what I want to buy next. I really like the cookie, but we don't really have long runs to justify that yet. 
Wish you could trade in engines. I would trade Betsy in for a tier two porter. We take a look here real quick. There's the new uh, caboose. We got the tier two porter, which is the same tractive effort, but it's heavier. That's not going to fit around the curves. That would fit around the curves, but it's $5,600 before we even add any extras to it. That's even more money. No, no, sorry, it's the same. Uh, where's the tractive effort? 13,000 versus 17. Um, I got a high school last time. I don't remember if I ever got a Climax. Maybe we'll save up for the Climax. I think that would, with this dual truck like that, I think it would negotiate Sharp Track pretty well. I love, this is probably my favorite logo, the cookie. I call it a cookie. Uh, decent tractive effort. Tons of wood and water this guy so we don't really have the railroad yet to support him this one's new and I'm not I'm not sure it's any good 42 I mean it is cheap how's this truck connected I don't think it's uh, gonna negotiate the tight corners very well though this is more for like straight main line I think Well, those are on a pivot, aren't they? Kind of looks like they're on a pivot, maybe. What's this arrangement? I'm going to figure out the suspension. I mean, it's the new one, I guess. And it is cheap. Maybe we could try that out. I just don't know if it's going to do the curves very well. But I guess it could maybe pull long trains from the sawmill to the freight depot. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Right now, though, I'm full up on logs. Uh, let's go ahead and fill the uh, fire depot here. Might as well make some Mooney. One advantage of the Tier 2 Porter is it holds a lot more wood and water, I think. Right now the water is like basically broken. It never goes down. Or if it does go down, it's going down at such a low rate it doesn't matter. I haven't put any water in this since I bought it. Or, well, not since I bought it. Since I started the game. So I guess we would waste logs. So we'll just put... We'll just put 30 in there. Then it's basically full. Sorry, I was talking to my son real quick. Reverse. Dude. Swore I moved that throttle lever. Alright, we'll load the uh, three cars up and then we'll sh shove for the sawmill.
ready on the brake. About back, about a half a car. And lock her in about there. How's that? Still not back as far as I th thought. There we go. Actually reach that from here. This seems a little excessive. Playing the clicking game. One more car. Got distracted. <laughs> I think that first armload of wood I picked up just disappeared into the ether. It happens a lot in this game. Also, getting stuck seems to happen a lot on realistic physics, too. Yeah, man. Get your back into it. There you go. No, I'm too far. <laughs> yeah, we'll just seesaw back and forth. We'll get it eventually. It's not like you can have your hand on the lever and you're looking back over your shoulder. It'd be nice if I could use my rail driver with this. Right there. One more. There we go. All right, let's head for the sawmill. Can't see you, boss. Just go backwards until you hear a crunch. We're 
of the downhill, so here we go. Whee! Normally I'm going engine first. Let's see how this works out, going butt in first. Probably better ways, but I really like this sweeping trestle under the sawmill. I think it looks nice. We start coming off the trestle. That's when we usually want to get the brake on. And we'll hop in this view to drive her on in. Seemed to slow down pretty good there. Can't hit P in this menu. Let's see how much money I had. I don't remember this. Is it eight bucks? I forget how much it is per log delivered to the sawmill. Twenty three forty eight. Yeah, ten bucks. Okay. Works for me. So I guess you could, if you wanted to exploit the game, you could just set up a firewood depot over there and unload logs into it and then delete it, put another one in, unload logs into it. But if you wanted cheap money, there's scripts out there that make it super easy to do that. You don't have to go to all that trouble. Cool, that's all set. Oh, is that on 100%? I wonder if it's slowing down quite a bit. I forgot to take that off. Ha! 
Uh, this thing is sprightly with no load on it. So we'll back around. I'm going to hook on to the other cut of cars. We'll start running stuff to the freight depot again. He's like a half crouch. You're now the front of the train. You gotta look up real quick. I know there's stuff out there that tells me like how much each thing is worth. How much each thing is worth. Roads, online, sell prices. Somebody's gotta have this somewhere. Buy cheap CD keys. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Cargo payment spreadsheet. Wonder if this is up to date. Or if it's changed. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, this has a beta. Yeah, that looks right, because the beams are 24. So for what we can do right now, beams is the way to go, it looks like. Or wait, no, three. So we can haul three. So beams and lumber are actually the same price, because we can haul twice as much lumber per car. So it doesn't matter. All right, cool. Let me bookmark that. And we're back. So yeah, we can do we can do both. Uh, we're lined up for beams, so let's get these two going with beams. We'll do lumber on the last two cars. So we come forward about half a car for those. These two sets of cranes are unfortunately not lined up with each other. that. Welcome back, Big Brick Gang. None of that little brick nonsense. Straight for the big bricks.
two more. Tree, you're kind of in the way. Come on, cut you down. Oh, you're already cut down. You just hadn't disappeared yet. That's what you're growing out of rock anyway. Silly tree. Have to rewatch. Yeah, the VOD will be on YouTube for, I forget if it's a week or two weeks for non partners. Um, I'll also be archiving this over on the YouTubes uh, between what it, whichever episodes it's between. It'll be a live stream archive. So it'll be there. Even if you don't get to it for a couple weeks, it'll be there. Obviously, didn't miss much. We've just been running, running logs. Now we're back to running beams and stuff. Just making a little money. And if it's a live stream archive, I usually release those at 3 a.m. U.S. Central Time. If it's a regular video, I try to do those at 8 a.m. Central U.S. Time, just as a heads up. Yeah, it should do it. And currently I'm trying to maintain a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule for Railroads Online and Monday, Wednesday, Friday for Conan Exiles, the two current series. I'll try to keep up that pace, but no guarantees with work and family and everything going on. Cruel Angel Gaming. Welcome. First time chatter, it says. Thanks for hanging out. All right, that's a full load. Let's get out of here. Make some money. Pretty tight through here, so we'll kind of keep the speed down. Open it up once we get out on the main line. And we're just about out of fuel. We'll see if we can make it all the way over there. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I forgot. We came through here. I need to throw the switch. You big dummy. It's the only thing it takes to stop with realistic physics. <laughs> Holy crap. You really feel the fact that you have no train brakes. Push, Betsy, push. I was headed for the logging camp. That wasn't going to do us any good. Forgot we came through here, so I needed to throw that.
Yeah, we just did a Betsy burnout. Come on. Give her a good shove. You got this. So close. Is it rolling in the slack or is the, is the back car is rolling? No, come on. All right, we're kind of stuck on that weird rubber band physics. This is downhill, by the way. No, I relayed this. Never mind, it's flat. This is all flat. We're just kind of stuck in a dead band there. It's, the physics is a little goofy sometimes. You gotta kind of bounce your way out of it. go to the freight depot Yeah, it's a nice little view, isn't it? Little Betsy working away. We need more smoke, though. I'd like to see more variation. That's a good way when you're managing your your uh, steam engine to see how efficient your burning is and all that good stuff. How much power you're producing. Here, it's basically just heat coming out. You don't have any smoke or water vapor. It's a little bit of smoke, I guess. I like that you can turn that UI off too, that's handy. That didn't used to be a thing. Alright, I think after this curve, we're pointed at the depot. And let's see, we just left there, so the switch should be lined up. So we can just pull on in. Yeah, there's the switch up there. Just about to lose the fire. That's fine. We'll pull in and get unloaded. Then we'll get the fire stoked again. I can dig up a picture of the steam engine we used to cut wood with, if anybody's interested. Let me know, I can go dig that up. It's on my, uh, I think it's on my Google Photos. I can find it. Steam power is very impressive. It worked well for sawing wood because steam has torque like all the way down to zero RPM. So you can get a lot of work done with steam power. It was cheap to operate too. Uses burn wood on it. Get some nice oak or hickory and makes a heck of a hot fire.
easy does it. Beauty, another load delivered. Another save made, just in case. We were at 2588. Let's go make some money. Yeah, nice and easy is the name of the game with uh, running on realistic physics. It's just the porter. It doesn't have the best set of brakes in the world. Kind of curious. Can I sell from here? I have a feeling it's not going to work. Uh, 2948. We're going to get paid. Oh, we do. Okay, so I don't have to pull forward. It's hitting like the edge of the thing here, so I think we're good. All right, up to three grand. Excellent. Yeah, I always, I've always liked Steam, Big Brick. My dad was really into Steam engines. He built several himself uh, from scratch, like Steam traction motors, little, little miniature ones. And we'd go around to all the Steam shows. Old Thresher's reunion, stuff like that, where they were using steam power. Oh, that's right, I need to uh, get some uh, fire going here. All right, break off, reverse reset. Alright, while we're backing out of there. Oh, that's right. It kills the sound, doesn't it, if you go over here. Let me see if I can find that picture real quick. Do, 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 do. It's Google smart enough. If I, yeah, I searched for Steam and it's showing me all my Yellowstone pictures. <laughs> that's pretty... Kind of funny and scary at the same time. Ah, oh, here they are. Get these downloaded to my desktop. Some of you have probably seen these before. I've shown them before. Uh, let's see. Download. Yeah, I don't think I have any pictures of his other steam engines. All right. Back over to there and there. Let's get into this view. We'll just ease back over to the sawmill. Yeah, let me uh, show this real quick. So this is my mom and dad back in the 80s. So this, let me, uh, can I zoom in here? Yeah, there we go. So this is the steam engine itself, this green part right here. It was a vertical steam uh, engine. I think it was a used to shake the grates in a big power plant back in the day. So somebody built it onto an international truck frame. It's got a big vertical boiler here. And so it was self-propelled, you could drive it around. And then it's got this big belt driven saw. We would saw wood to heat our house with it. Big water tank there on the back. And here we go. There we go. Just another view. Pretty sure I took these pictures way back in the day. Yeah, we would sop wood and then we'd throw it in the basement window there for a wood stove. <laughs> so I grew up firing steam engines. It was a lot of fun. At the time, sometimes it was a lot of work, but uh, managing all the power while it was doing that was usually my job. Mom and dad would be sawing wood. So. Good times. So I'm only 46, but I have experience firing steam engines. Not too many people can say that. We called that one Big Steamy, because we had Little Steamy, which was a little traction engine, steam engine that Dad built. I think he used a piston from a chainsaw, so it was... I don't know if it was like an inch and a half piston, something like that. And he would run a wood lathe with it.
No, the big steam engine, he sold at some point. I don't remember when he sold it. Uh, the little steam engine mom still has, it's in pretty sad state because it hasn't really done anything. And uh, Dad quit using it. He died a couple years ago, but he quit using it probably five, six years before that. So it's been just sitting in a shed for like almost a decade. We had to uh, we had to move it though. It was in the it was in that shed. Those of you that hang around the Discord and have been around a while, there was a tornado came through and tore up a like a half barn. That my mom has tractors and stuff in, so we had to move it out of the shed that got hit by the tornado. Uh, it still rolls. <laughs> it would need a full inspection before you'd want to put any pressure on it. I imagine the flues are probably in pretty bad shape. Yeah, if I had the time and the shop space, uh, he's got a metal lathe too that's in really bad shape. Could use a restore. I I wouldn't mind restoring some of that stuff. I just don't have the time or the shop space to do that kind of stuff. They also use little steamy to provide steam to a big. I think it was a 20 gallon steam pot, and they would cook ham and beans at a lot of these festivals where people had tractors and steam engines. So that was a big attraction. Steam cooked beans with uh, some really good ham hock thrown in. It's good stuff. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I can still remember, I don't remember how old I was, maybe 12 or so. We were at one of those steam shows, and they actually had a little steam locomotive that ran around the track. Uh, and it derailed coming out of the engine house. So I spent like two hours just watching them get that back on the rails. That was, that was awesome. Like, that made my whole weekend. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. And you come back just... A little less than half a car length, looks like. Although, these guys are lined up okay. Let's get these loaded. Yeah, ham and beans is awesome. I miss having those ham and beans. Mom would usually, they would have leftovers, so she'd like can them up in the mason jars and then send them home with me when I'd come visit. Good stuff. Yeah, Big Brick, I don't really have anywhere to work on stuff like that. I live in the suburbs since I got married. I've been a city boy for 17, 18 years now. Alright, let's bring her on back about half car length. I need to go forward half a car length of the night. <laughs> uh, it's been a long weekend. I got a lot done this weekend. I had a ton of video gaming. I got a lot of other stuff done. Clean toilets, too. It was very industrious. That's right, I'm a city slicker. We'll get we'll get it eventually. I forget now if I'm supposed to go forward or back. I'm losing my mind. I was supposed to go back, wasn't I? I'm gonna load this car. I might be able to load that one. We'll see if it works. Nope, it doesn't. We wasted a beam.
be cool if we had the option to like turning on helpers like like some green square or something to show you where the car needs to be I understand it's railroads online you're supposed to play multiplayer but hey I don't really play multiplayer I don't have that kind of time it's hard to coordinate and schedule and B multiplayer sucks in this game right now it's all laggy and weird be cool if we had some single player options. Alright, one more. It might have been on the roadmap, but with all the shenanigans going on with this project, I don't put a whole lot of faith in any kind of roadmap they've ever put out. Just glad we're getting some updates again. I get bored, I start seeing what I can do. Oh, can't quite reach it. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. We got 36 of those. 22 of those. So we'll load the other one with lumber. Back the car length. Alright, chat, back. Make sure I go backwards. It's in backwards. Okay, good. We're going back about a car length. Ish. Professional railroader. Bonk. Oh, right in the head. Good thing there's not player damage. I'd have quite the headache right now. I'm easily amused. You probably figure that out. Two more. Then we can go make some more money. We think we got enough for that new loco. Should we get the new loco and see if it'll make around these curves? It could be a Twitch exclusive. You get to see it before the YouTube folks get to see it. And if they watch the live stream archive, they'll get to see it early too. Alright, we are full up. Let's get out of here. And I could always make a save, and if, if the engine's terrible, we could just uh, not not save that part of it. Oh, wait. Some idiot forgot to load this car. I'm going to blame it on Dave. 
Most people quit streaming it. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, I'm lucky in the sense that I just stream for fun. Like, I'm not trying to make any money doing this. In fact, I told him to take off my affiliate status because people kept subbing even when I told them not to. I just got my affiliate so I could get my own emotes. <laughs> so I can play whatever I want. I don't care. If there's one person here or 50 people here, I'm still going to be playing video games. But a lot of streamers, I mean, they're, they've got to make a living. they got to play what's popular. But I have been thinking a lot about maybe just streaming on YouTube. I mean, I do videos over on YouTube. Maybe I should just stream there, too. Oh, we got 27 more. It seems like the beams stack from left, from like front to back. The lumber is stacking from back to front. It's kind of weird. Maybe two more. So I would probably have a ton of people in here watching this if I was streaming on YouTube. Because there seems to be a pretty big audience for this over on YouTube. I have a tiny little YouTube channel. And I'll put out videos. And I'll get like, you know, 50 to 200 views on a video. And I'm, I'm totally fine with that. It's just a hobby. I'm just having fun. And uh, I put out my first Railroads Online video back when it was, like when it came out. And my channel like quadrupled in size, like literally. <laughs> and I got thousands and thousands of views. It was it was crazy. Like, oh, I guess people like this game. So I did a whole series on it. Then I got tired of all the bugs and crap, so I said, well, we're done now. We've reached all the industries. I took a big old break. Pull, Betsy, pull! Alright, let's do about 20% power. And let's pop in this view too. Here we go. Lumber, beam, beam, lumber, lumber, lumber. Smart man would have saved. Oh, is that how you discovered it, Big, Bur Big Bird Gaming? Nice. I'm glad you're playing it and having fun. Um, I think, was it Vorden? Somebody in my Discord was like, hey, have you seen this game? It just came out, looks pretty cool. I, know, I didn't even know it was on the radar at all. So I went and checked it out. Like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I went and watched some YouTube videos on it. I'm like, yeah, this looks pretty interesting. So I started looking into the developers. Or the developer. I'm not sure if there's more than one. I'm like, man, they, they made this other game and they abandoned that. To make this. So. But I went and bought it anyway. I figured, what the hey, I can have some fun with it. The rest is history. I don't remember how many videos that first series was. It's quite a few. I had a whole network, you know, reached every industry on the map. It was good times. So I might not, not have ever even heard of it if it hadn't been for somebody on my Discord saying, hey, this looks cool. All right, let's give her the beans. Oh, I forgot about that bug. There we go. Let's go 60. Let's see if it seems any faster. You say it's too 40, it doesn't seem to go much faster. It just makes more noise. Let's make some noise. Yeah, 
Yeah, is that railroader you're talking about? Somebody brought that to my attention, so I've been keeping an eye on that. I'm in the Discord. I watched their devlogs too, if you're talking about railroader. And they seem like they've got their head screwed on straight. They've got a specific scope. You know, they're not going all out with all the features. They're going to release a working game, no early access crap. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. It sounds good, but, you know, stuff has sounded good before. I don't think we're really going any faster than we do on 40%. I think we're just making more noise. Look at these little drivers. I mean, they can only go so fast. <laughs> So let's get this delivered, and then I'm going to drop a save. I think we'll buy that new loco, and we'll try it out. We'll take it down to the sawmill, see if we can make it around the curves without derailing. All show a little bit ago, pretty much. It's made for pulling and switching. It's not really made for the uh, mainline runs here. It's called the Montezuma. I think that's the new one. Is it a 240? Starts at the front, right? 240 for the new Montezuma. Uh, today's patchy added brakes to it, even though the real one didn't have brakes. For gameplay purposes, he added brakes to it. Too many people are like don't understand how trains work so they were complaining about it like you're supposed to use the tinder brakes that's how it works probably the same people that think you need to turn the generator on on a locomotive that doesn't have a generator to get more power which is not what the generator does so i guess if you don't want to use the loco brake you could still just use the tinder brake What's up, Hemi? Stop! Whoa, horsey! Whoa! Whoa! There you go. Do the brake shoes actually move? No. Okay. Alright. Let's drop a save. It's been a while. Sit in, the, sit in the platform. I should set that to like F or something to sell so I don't have to take my hand off the mouse and hit enter. Cha-ching! There we go. All right, I don't know, will this stick in the... I'm not sure if this will fit in the... I don't think it'll fit in the turnaround. So we might just put them right here. We can back in and hook up to them with the new loco. All right, Betsy, you chill. We're gonna go buy a new locomotive. That's all good, Hemi. It'll be there when you get around to it. I have the same problem. There's so much stuff out there I wanna watch on YouTube and I just don't have the time. Same with Twitch streams. I used to have a lot more time at, at work. Uh, and I could, I could watch Twitch at work. It doesn't really work out that well these days. So I, yeah, I just, I don't hardly keep up with any Twitch streams anymore either. All right, let me get off the platform. There used to be a bug where if you saved and you were standing on something, you would spawn back in inside of it. I don't know if they've fixed that. So I'm going to save. I'm actually going to save down here too. So I've, I've got that slot too to come back to if we need to. 
Let's go buy the new loco and we'll see how it works. The Montezuma. Uh, let's see. Betsy doesn't have a number, does it? Or no, she, she, Betsy's number one. Right? Yeah, that's a one on the front. So this will be two. And what should we call this thing? Me to her space. All right, we'll just call it bullet. And then it's uh, Fedora Railroad. There we go. Look at that. 2,500 biggins. Ching. A mature. Are you calling me old, Hemi? Because you're not. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Breaks on. Do these come coupled up now? Or do we have to couple them up? Or is that permanently coupled? I'm not. Sh I'm not even sure. Lots of wood. I have a feeling some of that firewood missed the firebox. Is that still a thing? Come on, game. All right, let's get some fire building up. So we got a big old reverser. We got a regulator. We have what looks like it would be a brake handle, but it doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, this is, oh, it does have a brake. I assume that's for the train brake? I'm not sure. We'll have to play around with it. Okay. Interesting. A T Rex. Sander. Do we have like an air compressor valve thingy? Because it sounds like it's leaking air. Cylinder cocks. Apparently we don't have an air compressor. It doesn't stay on. Do we have... Uh, we don't have a headlight. But the generator turns itself off too. Alright, cool. How does the T-Rex drink his tea? Very carefully. And let's see, we got some water back here. It's looking kind of low. So we'll get some pressure up. We'll see if we can get some water. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, Mr. T-Rex, the whole brakes thing. So is that just like fake brakes, even though there's no air on the train? People are silly. We're not going to use that. We'll use the tender brakes like God intended. <laughs> All right, we got some pressure building. Do all the bells sound the same? Kind of sounds the same. All right, let's go into this view so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, so, I, yeah, I, the only thing, I won't be able to use the tinder brake from here. So that'll be exciting. So maybe we'll try it from in the cap. We need to pull up and get some water. So let's try that. And also want to see, is the tinder actually connected? Oh, I'm getting a coupler thingy. Add link. We just have to add the pin. Not sure.
Well, <clears throat> it's like we didn't quite have the coupler thing figured out. Ah, because we were too close. Gotcha. All right, so we do need a. No, nope. how do I put a pin in there? I'm not getting the chink sing sound like it's actually getting coupled. So I'm questioning on whether we're actually coupled or not. Well, one way to find out, I guess. Yeah, looks like we're coupled now. We're not. Oh, well, easy. It didn't want to move until it did. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, game? Like, it wouldn't move. Then when I took the brake off the tender, then it would move. Oh, weird. So it's... It's confused. Like, it was putting a link instead of a drawbar. Okay, so now we actually have the drawbar out. So you could technically couple this up to a car, I guess? We'll get it figured out. There we go. Okay, it's doing the same thing again. Let's take this off. Is the tinder going to follow us now? Hey, look at that! First try! We nailed it. Alright, water tank is up there. Oh, it's just a bit of a bug. Gotcha. I need the back of the tinder under the middle of this water tank. Or close thereabouts. Is that filling up? Yeah, it goes up when the drop goes in. All right. Now we just need to sit here for about an hour, and uh, we'll get that full of water. Well, I don't think he could even drive it when it first came out, but he fixed it up in a patch or two. All right. Still burning good. So, do we have a... See, I would love to be able to, like, actually run this like a steam locomotive. Manage your water level and stuff. stuff. So I assume it's just supposed to automatically fill the boiler from the tank. Uh, this says 1180, so that's going up. This shows the, I can't remember if this is supposed to show the boiler or the tank. I bet that's showing the boiler and it is slowly filling out of the tank. Is that how that works, chat? It's been too long since I played this. Maintaining a proper water level is a, a huge part of running a steam engine. Yeah, that's going up. Okay, so it, it looks like it's filling out of the tank. And then we're filling the tank from the water tower.
Yeah, just standing here in the pile of wood, you know, just railroad things. Oh, that is the tank? Okay, so then the sight glass shows you the boiler level. Well, at any rate, they're, uh, they're both going up. So that's a good thing. There we go. The door railroad creeping out of the wood pile. <laughs> So I think the key will be, does the front truck pivot? And how much does it pivot? So we'll see if it'll make it around the curves. Over at the sawmill. It's pretty tight over there. That's all good, Hemi. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good one. I'm not going to be streaming for too long. i got to get up in uh, at 6 a.m. So in about eight and a half hours. So I need to get to bed here for too long. Still got $952 left over. We'll get a Lincoln pin put in there. So with this big new powerful engine, we should be able to pull more cars, right? Maybe I should buy a couple more state cars. Should we go for eight? Throw on a couple more stick cars. Let's do it. So it'd be 206 and 207 for this series. Beauty. Yeah, well, it was really cheap. It's only twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, I meant to go. Let's go look at tractive efforts. Do 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 do. So we got the porter. Twenty eight seventy. So it's more than double the. The Porter. 4271 versus 56. So it's not quite Eureka, but it's pretty close. Yeah, it's a good, like, mid tier. We'll see how it actually performs. Based on numbers, though, it's a good mid tier engine. So, I mean, maybe we could go 10 cars. These cars are cheap. Let's do it. Well, do I have enough money? Ooh, I don't quite have enough money. I can buy one more. Is there a 250, right? This would be a 208. I've been numbering my cars based on series. All right, how we doing? We got we got a lot of water. Call it good. We'll go haul uh, a load with this, and then I need to call it quits. We'll see how, how she performs. It's like you have to close that twice. The lids are weird. All right. Tender break off. Yeah, I noticed that, uh, Mr. T-Rex, when I started playing again. It's like, holy cow, they nerfed the crap out of Betsy. <laughs> Which it needed. I mean, it was, it was stupidly powerful. Yeah, it slows down pretty quick. Yeah, this can be a little tricky with these close together. 
And it works the first time. Good deal. I like how you can't see out of the cab at all. That's a nice feature. It sounds good. Got some nice chuffing action going on there. Oh, I forgot to back up and get that one. Oh, crap. I'm aligned for the other track. I'm a terrible conductor. I really should check those kind of things. Do 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 do. Never happened. Do 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 do. You see nothing, chat. Nothing going on here at all. Just pure perfection in railroad form. Professional engineer. Again, I just blame it on Dave. It's kind of my default stance. Yeah, it slows it right down. It's going to be interesting stopping the whole train loaded with lumber with just the tender brakes. We'll be dancing around the cab a lot, that's for sure. throw a pin in there today I? I didn't throw a link I yeah and you can't put a link in there if they're too close together Dave come on get with the program you two commerce wouldn't take that <laughs> some of them would the regulars would be okay with it the randoms that show up like the one that couldn't believe i was playing railroads online supporting them giving them money it's all the stuff going on like well I've, I've already bought the game so i might as well play it they've already got my money no matter how i feel about the current situation they've already got my money hey they're putting out updates so let's play it All right, we got these two hooked up. Brakes are off. Busy little beaver running the Montezuma. Yeah, you really need to up your game, Dave. Come on. You got to keep an eye on me. You know it's not safe to let me operate trains on my own. Oh, I'm liking it. Sounds like it's got some power. We'll see how it behaves once we get a train full of lumber on it. Alright, let me come up past the second switch. That ought to do it. Then we'll go back and get our car that I forgot to grab. Yeah, it's a good model. I mean, it looks pretty good. Get a screenshot of it. Bring her on back. At least you can reach all the controls. They seem to work pretty well. Trains, planes, automobiles, tanks, 
machine guns. You gotta keep an eye on them. This storm will contain golf ball sized hail. Oh dang. That's up in Canton LaBelle. Uh, it's nowhere close to me. Oh hey, we should probably start slowing down. Sorry, I was just seeing tweets from the National Weather Service St. Louis. Got some big old nasty storms rolling through the area. Did I put a pin back in here? Or I mean a link? Of course not. Why would I do that? That would require forethought and preparation. I can blame you, Thorvald. All right, I appreciate you taking one for the team. <laughs> yeah, with the stream delay, I didn't see your message there, Big Brick. Didn't see it in time. All right, break off. These are on back. There we go. All right, three new cars. So we'll have nine total. I'm $48 short of being able to get a, a nice even 10, which really bothers me. We'll just open this thing wide up. Oh, she sounds good, chat. Sounds good. She gonna stay on the track? Holy crap. A little bit of vibration in the cab, just a touch. <laughs> just a touch. All right, that switch should throw, there we go. She sounds like she means business, though. So close. It's a new engine. I gotta get used to it. That's my excuse. First try. Let's play Find the Hidden Hitbox. Alrighty. Let's back up. Get the other six cars. Oh, that's the wrong control. Remember I said all the controls were easy? Yeah, forget forget I said that. It's a fire looking. Whoa, it's bright in there. All right, quit messing with the firebox. We've got a train to crash into. It still stops it pretty good, even with three empty cars on it. That put a, a, a pin. I did this time. Way ahead of the chat. Oh crap, now I'm stuck in the... <clears throat> stuck in the thing. Come on, gap. There we go. Saved by the gap. Stop me, Betsy. Stop me. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand. I 
Should have nine cars behind us. Everybody hang on, here we go! Can't see. Yeah, whistle's got it's a little shrill, but the whistle sounds pretty good. I thought it looked kind of like a bullet, so that's why I named it bullet. Why, why are you losing speed here, Bullet? What's going on? Uh, it's not terribly fast, but it sounds good. I'm not sure why the slowdown there. I mean, we weren't pulling all the cars through a curve. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, there's a lot of cab vibration. Not a fan of that. I'm not sure why it keep, keeps randomly slowing down either. It is, it is brand new, so you know it, it might need some tweaking. Oh, do they have some kind of artificial speed restriction, like for the physics? This feels like I have a brake on. I must have forgot to take a brake off somewhere. Let's go find where the brake's on. That would have been the end of the train. Did I forget to take it off on the last car? I bet I did. <clears throat> Dave. <laughs> well, that would make sense, Big Brick, because it seems like it would cut out. Like there was some kind of speed limiter. So that would make sense. Sounds really good. Especially when you got some good headphones on. It's got that deep chuff. Alright, if it fits around the curve, we have a winner. We're heading into some sharp territory. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the truck's pivoting. That's a good sign. It looked like it was pivoting. I remember having that issue, T-Rex, with like the cookie and other stuff that I used to run. Oh, maybe it's... Well, it is pivoting somewhat. Okay, this is the sharpest part of the whole railroad so far. So let's see how we do. Right here is the sharp, sharp part. Oh, it's going to stay on the track? Yeah. If the cars stay on, I think we're good. How we feel about stopping? We're not feeling terrible about stopping. All right, cool. It's going to be a little tricky using the tender brake. See where that puts us. Well, jump clear off the car. That's not what I wanted to do. Eh, 
yeah, we're half a car length off. I mean, it's not terrible. Oh, did they? Okay, I guess I just never noticed it in the sound. This seems to have a little more distinctive sound. So maybe it's just easier to hear it. Is that close enough? It might be close enough. Alright, we got 24 lumber, quite a few beams. Let's get loaded up. save. Do lots of saves with this game. Actually back it up every time. I've got a PowerShell strip to make dated backups. That way I can always roll back if I need to. Hey, what's up Thunderbolt? Yeah, that is good timing. I I randomly stream, and I haven't streamed this in forever. Uh, but I needed to make some money. Like you'll see uh, after episode 4, which comes out on Tuesday. So you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek. This is, in the series, this is what's happening after Tuesday's video. And I'm just making some money, like the stream title says. All the logs and lumber for profit, so... We made some money, and we just bought the Montezuma. Uh, so yeah, you get a little sneak peek. Before this, let's see, I recorded another episode. So this is actually after Thursday's video. That one's full. So you're getting a little sneak peek. We're going to fill this up and see how it handles, and then I need to get off to bed. Got to get up early tomorrow. 6 a.m. is going to be here in about eight hours. Come on, bullet. Oh, yeah. Got this. And then again with the tender break, it's a little tricky. Yeah, still about a good car length off. Eh, we'll just say we skipped a car. We can, I think we can load these. We'll back up. I know they added a cheat brake on it, but we're trying to run it like the real loco with no locomotive brake. Just for funsies. How do I like it? So far, it's uh, it's got great sounds, and it handled the curves here at the sawmill okay. Uh, it's really vibrating in the cab at speed. Like, you're getting knocked all over the place. So that's a little off-putting. Uh, this will be the first load I've pulled with it. All I've done is pull these nine empty cars over here. So we're going to see how it pulls. But so far, pretty favorable impressions. And it's cheap, too. It's only 2500 bucks. So it's a nice little step up from the porter. Reminds me, I'm gonna have to get Betsy over here. I should have pulled Betsy over here behind this train. I need to remember to do that. So, assuming this one works out, we'll probably put Betsy just on log duty. And then we'll be running uh, lumber with the Montezuma. Affectionately named Bullet, because it looks kind of like a bullet. That's one of the first things I thought when I saw this shiny boiler is that looks kind of like a bullet or a cartridge. So, we call it a bullet. Alright, well we need one more. Yep, one more. It's really going to trigger some people because some of these cars are switched around now. I've had so many derailments. 
I didn't get him re-railed all the same direction. I know I'm going to get comments about that. But it is what it is. Alright, so I need to back up about a car length. I didn't stop in time. It's getting harder and harder to stop. Maybe we'll hit the second crane. Oh, I'm out of lumber. Never mind. We'll go load beams. Coming on back. Can't see where I'm going. Oh, we need to hit the brake. Hit the brakes. And we're right between the cranes. Good job, Mr. Engineer. <laughs> uh, I wish I could drive from this view, uh, but I don't have any brake. Unless I, I could use the cheat brake. Like I said, I'm trying to do this legit. Just to see if how well it can be done. Um, we could back up or go forward. It doesn't really matter. So let's take the brake off. Give a little juice. And we come back about half a car length. Hit the brakes again. We hit this back crane. Yep. All right. We got 22 beams. So we'll. Put all the beams on here. We can. I don't think we're going to fill up the train. All right, we can fill up seven more cars. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, we can. We can fill the train. Cool. So, yeah, like Big Brick Gaming said, this will be the test. Can we actually pull a load with it? And how well is it handled? I don't have any crazy grades going from here to the freight depot. It's pretty much flat. So that will help. I got rid of the crazy grade here and put in a, a 90 degree crossing. All right, so now we need to pull forward two cars, no, three cars. Come on, bullet. Get with it. Hit the mute button just in time. Had a monster sneeze. So that's about two cars. We put on the brakes. Let's see how we're doing. Too far. Yeah, it's too far. We're going to have to back up. This is rough. Need a conductor back there yelling at me where to where to stop. Gonna start a new railroad with max four cars. Well, it can it can pull a lot more than four cars. Hey, why aren't you stopping? Okay, good. That's close enough. We can load a car. I, mean, I guess if you had really steep grades, you would want to limit it for sure. Right, let's 
Let's go get these brakes turned back on. So I need to pull forward two cars. Check on the fire. Fire's good. Four and two. <laughs> Definitely easier to get rolling compared to the quarter. So that's about one car. Put on the brakes. Oh man, now that we're loaded, it's so hard to stop. Oh, it's so hard to stop. Just the tender brakes. <laughs> oh, I'm exactly in the wrong position again. Might just have to start using the cheat brake. Let's try the cheat brake and see how well it works. Okay, hop in this view. Whoa, easy. Even zoomed all the way out, I can't really tell what I'm doing back there. That's the problem with the long trains. Yeah, the loco brake's pretty, pretty effective. Yeah, I could try using a reverser. If we don't spin the wheels, that can act as a brake. Right, really, I could come back almost half a, half a car. muted <laughs> I don't think we spun there the big drivers you're less likely wait did I even move hey what's up big Chris yeah this this is run three it's old <laughs> this is the other railroad game Take me half an hour just to get the car spotted. <laughs> it's really hard to pull forward without, you can't see anything. Let's see if that'll hit. We've got 15 beams here. Can we hit a car? Yeah, good enough. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble pulling it, just based on what I'm doing here. What what we're gonna have trouble doing is stopping. <laughs> That's gonna be a, a, an issue for sure. So we'll have to use the reverser and the tender brake. It's gonna be interesting. My prediction, we run it right off the end of the rail at the freight depot. <laughs> All right. 
I need to come forward. Let's see if we can make that happen. One last car, and then we're going to run for the fre freight depot. And it's going to pull it, no problem. Plenty of power. At least on flat. There's just a little bit of grade getting out of the sawmill, but it's not much. If I remember right, it's like maybe 1%. Just a, And it's just a little section. Unless I end up getting rid of that, I don't remember for sure. Excuse me, big ol' yawn. It's bedtime, folks. Uh, save. Let's go uh, see if we can get to the freight depot. Yeah, so far it's pretty much point to point. I do have a loop here at the sawmill. Uh, but so far that's the only, like, reverse loop we have. Alright, you're coming off. You're in forward. Let's do this. No problem at all starting out. I really like the sound of it. Sounds good. Probably don't want to go too fast though. Until we get back on the main here. I'd like to uh, eventually make a loop at the freight depot so I can just loop. I don't have to keep backing up all the time. And with the new auto switches, you know, if you set up your loops right, you can just run through. It doesn't, you don't have to stop and throw the switches. It makes it a little easier. Like here, I don't have to hop and get out. It just switches it for me. So that's super handy. Betsy is not out of the way. We're going to have to build more track. All right. We are on the main. worth 2500 bucks for sure it needs some work it, it bounces around a lot like we're in the cab it's not too bad right now it, yeah like that it, it gets really bouncy tenders going all over the place start slowing down. Okay, full tender break. Half mile from the freight depot. <laughs> oh, that's, that's slowing down pretty good, actually. So, I'll take that off. And we'll just ease into the depot and try not to ram Betsy too hard. are fire doing just fine All right, cool. the firebox seems to last longer get some more break on to see how it reacts 
slowing down a bit. Good deal. We have windows we can open. Yeah. Look out, Betsy! We're coming in. I, th I thought brakes were off on the cars, but I might have forgot to undo some of them. Let's go check here. I, I had a lot going on with brakes. I might have forgot to tune these off. No, those, those two are off. I think that was just all tender brake. This should be on 10%. Yeah, it's just 10% on the last car. That seemed to stop better than it did over the sawmill for whatever reason. So, yeah, I would like to add a loop. Uh, I want to add an engine servicing area. So I'm going to do just a tiny bit of track laying, but I do need to get to bed. I need to get Betsy out of the way. So. Somebody's cut down. Come on, get off the tree. And then we want to delete groundwork. And I want to switch to the left. Then we'll just run some track out like that. Just so we can get Betsy out of the way. She needs a bed. I gotta get up at six, and that's like I said, it's like less than eight hours from now. So, uh, yeah, let's get Betsy out of the way. Whee! Betsy can get right with it when she takes an ocean. So at some point I'll probably have like engine surfacing or something in here, maybe an engine shed and a turntable back in there. And some kind of a loop back around and up the other side of the depot. Maybe, we'll see. For now, I just want to be able to sell this stuff and go to bed. Gotta get up early and be at the dentist for a root canal tomorrow at 7 a.m. That's exciting. down there. About there-ish. Eh, probably will still.